triangles, <clears throat> and the little subheading there is classifying them. Uh, a more probably realistic name for you guys would be just naming them. Special names for triangles. And there's two different ways that we can classify or name triangles. We can either um, classify them by their sides. Okay, and when you talk about sides, the length of their sides, you only have, when you have a three sided shape, Andrew Mueller, you only have three options with their sides. One of them is either all of their sides are equal. Either all their sides are equal, and we showed that with a little slash mark there, all equal sides, that's one choice. Anybody know what we call an all equal side triangle? Every side is equal on that one. Mackenzie, it is? Equilateral. It is an equilateral triangle. Or a triangle could have just two sides that are equal. Okay, and if something has just two sides that are equal, that Alex Vomer is a isosceles. Or you could have a triangle that has no equal sides. A little harder to draw, but. No equal sides. And if it has no equal sides, anybody over there? Kendall? Gabe? It is a scalene triangle. Okay, so those are your three choices if you're classifying them by sides. Uh, and the other way that we can classify triangles is by their angles. Okay, and again, there are three choices when we classify them by their angles. Either they have all acute angles, in which case, what do you suppose the name of that triangle is? It's going to be tough, Holly. Very cute. Yeah, that would make it an acute triangle. Or you have a triangle that has one right angle in it. In which case that triangle is called a, again, it's a pretty tough call on that, Alex. Right triangle. It is the right triangle. Or your third option is, and you always start with this because it's tough to draw any other way. If the triangle has an acute, if the triangle has an obtuse angle in it, by the way, I should credit for anybody who can draw me a triangle that has more than one obtuse angle in it. Anybody know what that triangle would be called if it has one obtuse angle in it? Taylor? Obtuse triangle? Yes. Obtuse triangle. Those are some pretty hard to remember names for that sort of triangle there. Why would there not be any way to draw a triangle with more than one obtuse angle in it? Ava? Well, by definition, a triangle, all the angles in a triangle 
All the angles in the triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So since one obtuse angle is already bigger than 90, there's no way you can get another angle that's bigger than 90 because two 90 degree angles gives you 180 degrees right there. You couldn't draw a triangle with that as well. By the way, some maybe some important facts to remember here. Let's just throw these in here. I don't know if the book will ask me this or not. Uh, when you have an acute triangle, all angles are 60 degrees. No matter what, how big the triangle is, if it's in a, if it's a, I'm sorry, can I switch that? Stop. Erase that because I was on the wrong triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all angles are 60 degrees. This one just looked like my equilateral triangle. And then also on this one here, all the angles that are opposite the equal sides are equal. You can jot that in there. I don't know if I'll ever ask you that, but at least you have it in your notes at some point, somewhere. And again, you'll want to refer back to this because I guarantee you the book will ask you 